Yeah, in April last year, Mike Baird was sworn in as our 44th Premier of New South Wales, about to face an upcoming election in March. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Amanda. Thanks, Jonesy. Well, it's nice to have you along. Who's the biggest sport, sporting tools? Oh, you can't just, ask the well, no, that. No. <laughs> just, just sort of like wall gathering. If uh... well, I, so, I go back to history and I, on the tennis players. I mean, I think John McEnroe is pretty yeah. much top of the pops. There you go. Uh, he looks well behaved in comparison now, doesn't he? Well, yeah. I mean, he kind of was on his own. He's, mm. he's had a few people join him, but I. I don't think it's for all tennis players. I, my wife thinks that Roger Federer is is the class of all class. He's so nice, isn't he? Yeah, he's just nice guy, humble, best player in the world. Hard to mm. compete. This is why. Look, look at you because we played. You can't touch this. A lot of people saying you're Mister Untouchable. <laughs> that's what they're saying in the newspapers. Really? That's what they. That's what they say in the newspapers. Mm. I've heard that say you're Mister Untouchable, and everyone likes you. And you're exactly the same age as me. You have three kids. Yeah. Same age. I could be the premier. Yeah, well, this is, yeah. <laughs> you look younger than me. But, <laughs> well, stressful say. life of political <laughs> life oh, because I make life too easy for Jonesy. That must be. Oh, is that it? Yeah. I, you carry the burden. That must be me. It must have been an amazing day where, uh, because of a bottle of Grange, seemingly it uh, the premier resigns. Were you shocked? It was you. How did it come about on that day? Uh, well, I'm mean, very shocked. I mean, I'd still. Uh, reflect back on those days and it's as if the world kind of opened up. Um, it was the last thing any of us were expecting. Barry had done a, a, a great job for the party and the state and it had got us moving again. I mean, New South Wales was back moving and uh, a lot of it was due to his leadership and, and the team he'd put around him. So uh, to, to see that happen um, was, well, I think, a tragedy. Um, and at the same time, anything can happen in politics. So you have to be prepared. It was uh, the, honestly the furthest thing from my mind uh, as I entered that day. Um, and like anything, 24 hours later, all of a sudden, uh, you're in a role you couldn't imagine, but also with the opportunity of a lifetime, and, and that's the way I view it. It's a, an amazing opportunity. Uh, I, it really is. I could almost imagine you go there in your office, your feet up on the desk, and, like, you know, you, you're not really accountable for anything, and then the phone rings, you go, oh, so what, you want me to do what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and for a minute, uh, I thought uh, you said you wanted me to be free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there, there are some things you have to do in the role. That's absolutely mm. right. And, and look, it, it's... It is something, uh, it, I mean, in politics you get the chance, I mean, as you do here, to, to meet a lot of people. And I think uh, the more you get around and, and see this state and see the community, it's, uh, there's this pride that comes with it. I mean, I, I love this state. Uh, it, is, it is the best place in the world and, and some of the people I've met are inspiring. So to have a chance to, to lead it is, is very humbling and just a fantastic opportunity. And have you gone crazy with power? Because I'm, I'm looking at... <laughs> You're stroking a white cat as we speak. <laughs> look at the PM, uh, Narendra Modi. He's gone to meet with Barack Obama and then they've closed in on his suit and usually people like the Indian Prime Minister's outfit that he wears, but his name is written in the pinstripes of the... Sh uh, of is the it? Suit. Maybe so Barack well, can look at it and remember. Well, unless they go for a swim at the White House and, you know, perhaps these clothes get muddled up, but have you gone... Are we? Look I'm just looking at your suit. It's a very nice <laughs> suit. Has it, got, it hasn't got Mike Baird written on it or... No, I don't I don't think that's uh, that's going to happen. But, I mean, I mean a, there should be a Jonesy suit, shouldn't well, there? There already is. Oh, there already it's is. It's a yeah. lawsuit. It's underneath this. <laughs> it's underneath all of this. My birthday suit. <laughs> You don't have to see it, though. No, but, but Prime Minister Modi is a pretty inspiring figure. But you will know. he give Prince Philip a knighthood? Yeah. Well, that's a question for him. <laughs> that's that's a, it's already been done, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that? Well, not my choice. It wouldn't have been my choice, but the, the Prime Minister makes lots of decisions, some of which are popular, others that, that are not. I, yeah, I think the thing about uh, that decision is that in Australia Day, there were some incredible Australians on it. I mean, Rosie Batty. Mm. I mean, what yes. an inspiring... Assignment. We should be talking about her or Angus oh, and Actually, Houston. that is true. Uh, or Jonathan or, Coleman. Jonathan Coleman yeah. got an OBE. Yeah. He got an Not an OBE. Yeah. Well, AOM. For, oh, yeah. It's a broadcast. That's right. Services. And Lane Beachley. Lane Beachley yeah. is, a, yeah. is, a, is a hero. Uh, all of those people. I mean, that's It's a shame that the ludicrous nature of that took away from the deserving people. Yeah. I know you were outraged about Jonathan Coleman. You walked around saying, why wasn't that me? Oh, yes. That's what, I've that's done coming. enough time calls. That's, 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 why, yeah. that's why you're here today, so I can write a cheque. <laughs> Premier, it's nice to have you in the studio, and we didn't just get you in because Amanda's run foul of some speeding cameras. That's for off-air chat, Brendan. <laughs> if, if, there's, if there's anything you can do, <laughs> side speak. Mike Baird, thank you. That's a pleasure.